welcome to A Bossy. On this video, we will be unboxing the Yu Gi Oh! Pop Up Parade. We have here Dark Magician Girl as well as Sector Kaiba. After the review, we'll also bring in Yu Gi Oh! to compare with these figures. Alright, let's start with Dark Magician Girl. Take out the Buster Pack. Cut the tape. Take out the stand, take out Dark Machine Girl, take her out of the plastic pouch, take off the plastic from the stand, take out the stuff, and remove the plastic. Let's build. This part is a little bit tricky. Put the stuff next to her leg, have the long part of the stuff facing down, gently lift up the hand, slide the stuff towards the hand, push it in, and adjust the stuff. Attach Dark Magician Girl onto the stand. Let's unbox Secret Kyber, take out the Buster Pack. Cut the tape, take out the stem, take off the plastic, take out second tie bar, take off the plastic pouch, take out the cards, remove the plastic. Let's build. Slide cards into his right hand, attach him to the stem, two pegs for each leg. Here we have Sector Kaiba Pop Up Parade and the Dark Magician Girl Pop Up Parade. Let's have a closer look at the Dark Magician Girl. Great details on the hair and the face. We got the details of her necklace with the ring unique shaped hat. If all the swirls and blue and pink. Great details on the hair on the back and then the fabric flying in the air. Looking really great from, from behind as she's flying in the air. More of the great blue and pink and the little orbs on the arm guard and the details on the front with the star, one painted pink rim as well as the other hand holding onto the staff and really clean finish on the pink rim with the yellow orb on the white translucent stand and the pink base. This has a lot of energy and movement coming from this figure. Let's look at Sector Kaiba. First thing you notice is a stem on his head. Stands up a bit too much. Really great details on the stylized eyes. Mouth, you can see some of his teeth. And the shoulder blades. And that's his coat fleeing in the air with a sharp triangle. With a red finish on the base. And very nice silhouette from behind. Into the extended hand. Clean finish on the arm guard and the belts. You see his initial and card hanging from his neck. And bent hand, him holding cards. Fortunately, there's no pictures on them. The more of the angular shape on his coat and his belt with KC. And really nice finish on his pants. And more of the belts and boots on dark blue base. Really amazing silhouette and pose. Giving it off a lot. Really capturing the character's energy really well. Let's bring in for Yugi pop up parade. Wow, we all go so well together. They're all fairly close in height and just amazing all the details on the outfit and just the overall design of these characters. The colourful bases work well with this set. It doesn't distract too much and just the wonderful details on the back as well as the silhouette of these characters. You can just tell who they are from a glance. That magician display really well with Yugi. Looks like he's summoning her. As well as Sekiro Kaiba. Looks great in dueling Yugi for the cards. The cards look nice from far away, but up close, they're pretty plain. Both have the same design. One annoyance is a small tap to knock down such a Kaiba's cards. Having all three posing to that looks amazing. It would be great if they can add a blue eyes white dragon to this set as well. But the fourth figure looks like is the alternate color for the Dark Magician Girl. If you have been enjoying this video so far, give me a like. Man, just wow. These are some of the nicest pop-up parade I have in my collection. I think they're both worth a buy. You'd like to see for Yu Yi? Unboxing, go over here. <laughs> Alright, bye.